In Nichiren Buddhism, chanting Dai Moku is considered a powerful practice that can have a positive impact on the lives of oneself and others. It is believed that one's Dai Moku can reach the lives of people living far away, those who are not practicing, and even those who have passed away. This is based on the concept of interdependence, or the interconnectedness of all beings and phenomena. Nichiren Daishonin, the founder of Nichiren Buddhism, writes in his writings that the power of Dai Moku extends beyond the individual practitioner. In his writing, On Attaining Buddhahood in This Lifetime, he states, When one light is lit, it illuminates the surrounding area, when one drum is sounded, it spreads its reverberations afar. If the Buddha's mercy can extend even to a single tree or pebble, how much more so to human beings? This passage illustrates the idea that the power of one's Dai Moku can extend beyond oneself and impact the lives of others, even those who are not practicing. It is believed that through one's chanting, they can send positive energy and intentions into the universe, which can then be received and felt by others. Contemporary Buddhist scholars also support this idea. In The Buddha in Daily Life, the late SGI president Daisaku Ikeda writes, Through our chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we create a profound connection with the universe, and our voices resonate with the voices of all life in the cosmos. When we chant, we tap into this vast, boundless network of interconnectedness, and we create ripples of positive energy that can reach and affect countless people, even those far beyond our immediate environment. Additionally, it is believed that one's Dai Moku can also benefit those who have passed away. In Nichiren Buddhism, it is believed that the deceased continue to exist in the realm of the living, and that one's Dai Moku can reach and benefit them. This is based on the idea that life is eternal and that one's life force continues to exist even after physical death. Nichiren Daishonin writes in The Actions of the Votary of the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra states that, though one's parents, spouse, and children may number as many as the sands of 62 Ganges rivers, if they oppose the Lotus Sutra, they will fall into the great citadel of the Avicii hell. If one's parents, spouse, and children do not practice the Lotus Sutra, however, one should simply rejoice, saying, I have no greater fortune. This passage suggests that even if one's loved ones are not practicing, one's Dai Moku can still benefit them and offer them protection. In conclusion, the power of one's Dai Moku extends beyond the individual practitioner and can benefit those living far away, those who are not practicing, and even those who have passed away. This is based on the concept of interdependence and the idea that all life is interconnected. Through one's chanting, they can send positive energy and intentions into the universe, which can then be received and felt by others. It is a powerful practice that offers hope and protection to all. Thank you.